Hello and welcome to my channel, Sketching Fine Art. It's been a really long time now since I've posted a video on this channel and that's because I've been really, really busy with my teaching classes on Skillshare, so do check them out. Links are all in the description below. But coming back to today's video, I've got myself a new gadget. Yes, I have. So I thought I'll do a quick unboxing of this. It's a new laptop that I've been looking to get for quite a while now. I've had quite of my fair share of uh, laptops over the uh, over the years and it was just time to get an upgrade uh, mainly this laptop is going to be used for my kids uh, because these days all their homework is done online and the current laptop that I had its battery pack pretty much died out on me um, so they've always got to keep it on charge all the time so I thought do you know what seeing it's that the Black Friday weekend I need to get myself a new laptop so that's what I decided to do and I've gone for the Lenovo uh, laptop, it's called the Lenovo IdeaPad and I got this on a special deal, I got it pretty, pretty sweet deal this it's a i5 laptop with 256 SSD with 8 gig of RAM now that's pretty high on the specs um, so it's not like a you know a cheap slow laptop this should be and hopefully it will be uh, you know a decent fast paced laptop that should be able to handle a couple of things so just opening up the box um, uh, let's have a look at what we've got here so we've got uh, one year subscription oh that's pretty good special offer mm, only available when bought with computer hardware very good so it looks like I've got uh, some uh, decent uh, antivirus. Uh, however, Norton do take up quite a lot of your uh, memory of, of your RAM, so I don't know whether I'm going to use this or not. But hey, at least it's free. Might as well use it. Freebies are good bees, aren't they? <laughs> so let's have a look at this. Now, I also got this um, uh, laptop uh, carrier case bag. This was free as well in this special offer deal. And uh, yeah, pretty standard, nice little case. Just move that to the side be needing that right now but here's the main thing so here it is the Lenovo laptop now I've never had a Lenovo laptop before I bought uh, items from Lenovo like tablets a Lenovo tab 2 and other uh, devices such as uh, small tablets and big tablets but I've never really had a laptop well I've never had a laptop from them so this is going to be a new experience for me and because usually I buy all my laptops from Dell and I did give Dell a ring to see if they'd give me a discount or you know some special deal but they didn't so they've lost out on my cash and Lenovo have got it so the equivalent by the way of the Dell version of this was I think six hundred and fifty pounds so this deal that I got this uh, Lenovo in this special deal for this Black Friday week I got it for 450 and I think that's quite a bargain because for these specs an i5 256 SSD and um, uh, 8 gig of RAM you're usually looking at around about 550 500 to between well really between 500 and 600 pound depending on special offers so just looking at the packaging here we've got a nice solid packaging on the side we've got label telling us what this is what the internals are so we've got CPU Intel i5 processor 1.6 gigahertz clock speed now I was a bit concerned about the clock speed because um, being a bit of a techie man in the past I used to be an IT teacher as well I always uh, I will well I wouldn't say I recommend but I I always prefer a 2.0 and above on the clock speed because clock speed usually is important for how the laptop will handle but I, I thought do you know what I'm get going for an SSD um, that should compensate for the clock speed because with SSD as you know there, there are no moving parts in the hard drive so it works a lot faster your boot up becomes faster and generally the whole process should become faster well I hope it does anyway because this is the first time I'm getting a laptop with SSD in it and that was really important for me these, these laptops were a lot cheaper with the standard SATA drives in them the SATA drives the mechanical hard drives with one terabyte of uh, storage in but I've just been fed up of them over the last years because they just literally slow 
down eventually and it's just that mechanical you know old school stuff I've, I, I want to kind of move forward with the you know the new tech and to really compare it with what you know what, what my previous experience is so yeah so we've got 8 gig of RAM we've got the 256 SSD it's a 15.6 HD screen it's not full 1080p so it's just HD so it'll be 720 a bit more than 720 because it's got a bit of a funny dimension on the screen uh, the operating system is Windows 10 home edition and the color of this one is platinum gray it's called the Lenovo IdeaPad 330s 151kb I haven't got a clue what that means but that's what it is <laughs> model name 81f5 and I think it's time to give this guy a nice little open so Let's have a look at this. It's sealed very well. We've got a nice Lenovo sticker on the side. What I plan to do is I plan to um, actually use this myself. I mean, my kids are going to use this for their homework, um, and I'm going to be using this for pro possibly to use for my YouTube uh, video uploads, mainly for online usage and some Microsoft Word, word processing, some spreadsheet work. I'm predominantly a Mac user uh, because I work in graphic design uh, and art. So I need very high spec computers, and uh, with uh, unfortunately, when you're when when you're in the Apple ecosystem, then everything Apple just works seamlessly. So, I, I, you know, I was never an Apple ecosystem person before, but I would say over the last last seven to ten years, probably, um, I have pretty much transfer to everything Apple. So for me, if I get a laptop, it's gonna have to be the MacBook Pro. And uh, well, you know, you're looking at what, 2000 pound for a laptop, which is just crazy. So this will suffice for the small little jobs that I need to do, and it will hopefully suffice for the kiddies and their homework. So just opening up that tab, we've got good packaging, it's in a nice cardboard box, and I'll just show you this on the inside. So just bend that back so we've got the cable system on the left hand side in this little compartment and then we've got the main laptop here in this polystyrene foam. So we'll just tilt this to the side and we'll just drag this out. So yeah, nice compact packaging. I mean Lenovo's really becoming a you know a home brand these days. They're making so many products, you know, throughout laptops and uh, tablets. They, they are pretty solid and like I said I've had I've got two Lenovo tablets uh, experience with them and I've never had an issue with them so with that in mind I thought you know what I'm going to I'm going to give it a go and mainly because Dell really let me down uh, with their special offers the guy was being really moody on the um, on the on the online chat where I was asking for a discount so I told him what I thought of him in the nicest possible possible way <laughs> so let's just pull these out here so I've just got power cable and that'll just be the power dock that the cable goes into anything else in there no okay we can just chuck that to the side oh, that was a loud noise wasn't it right okay so a bit of literature on the inside uh lenovo notebook uh put that to the side there let's just put that there and we've got some all oh, manual stuff manual guide safety warning guide right bog standard stuff really i mean it's not going to be that complicated if you've if you had laptops before and you know you've used laptops before and started them up it's pretty much the same thing so let's have a look at the uh the masterpiece then so let's just move that foam from the side that can go on the side there move the other piece of foam that can go on the side so it's a nice silver color they call it gray it's nice and silver it's in a in a plastic bag let's bring this out and chuck that on the side as well and let's have a look at this so yeah we've got a nice flush design very nice very nice and compact let's have a look at the front so there's the front Right underneath, it's got a nice bit of, there's the air vent. So we've got the air vent going across, Lenovo tag. Um, it doesn't say what what the internals are on this. So, oh, that's great, whatever. <laughs> that's a window symbol, obviously it's a Windows machine. And it's very, um, uh, it's very industrial. I mean, I thought this was gonna be like a cheap plasticky type of thing, but it's it's like, it's it's full, it's actually metal. This the whole thing's made out of metal. It's quite nice actually, nice and thin. It's not very thick. So on the front of it, on the uh, actual uh, screen, on the back of the screen, we've got the Lenovo 
um, uh, label there, the logo. So yeah, it's quite nice, but here's a moment of truth when you open the laptop for the first time. Let's have a look. Ooh, check that out. So that's really nice, actually. Looks really nice. It's got a real solid feel to it. The um, the trackpad is situated a bit on the left. Now, so that's a bit different. Uh, we've got that little screen protector thingy-majig. I can just move that to the side. Now this usually bends all the way to the back, the screen, so I'll just show you this. But yeah, I mean, I think it's quite nice. It's got a nice solid feel to it. And you know, I mean, for four, I mean, four hundred and fifty pounds—a lot of money, I know. But for for the internals and for this build quality, I think it's pretty good. I was expecting something really, you know, flimsy, plasticky, but it actually feels really nice. Uh, let's have a look at the trackpad. Oh, it's got a nice, um, uh, it's got a nice travel on that. Really nice travel, full QWERTY keyboard, QWERTY keyboard, um, and yeah, I, th I really like that. That'll be the on and off button. And over here on this sticker, what does it say? It says slim profile, narrow bezels, fast charging. Oh, that's what I want, fast charging. Now, I don't know how long the charge lasts for in this uh, laptop. Uh, only time will tell. I mean, this is just really an initial unboxing of, um, uh, of this laptop. I will go through uh, how it performs and, you know, what it's like on performance and whether the SSD really makes a difference. And I'm, I'm sure it will. I mean, it has got quite... a good weight to it, it is quite heavy, it's not on the light side, so you know, if you're holding it with one hand, you are going to feel it, um, but other than that, it's pretty nice, nice and flush, and pretty cool actually, it looks like just this slab of metal, <laughs> that's what it looks like, so let's have a quick look at the ports on the side actually, so on the ports on the side over here, we've got the power uh, adapter cable input over there, we've got a HDMI cable input, we have a USB, we have a, I think that's a USB-C, yeah, and then we have the good old headphone jack. So there we go. So we've got one, two, three, four, five inputs on there. And on the other side, over here, we have the multi-card reader, so you can use SSD. And that's one of the reasons I wanted this, because it had this multi-card reader here, so that even with a 256 SSD already inside, you can just get a 128 gig card and put it in. And I got one of them pretty cheap as well. Um, I think I got 128 SanDisk one for 15 quid, 15 pounds, which was absolute bargain. So that's gonna be going straight in there when that comes in the post. And here we have another USB, and I don't know what that is. I haven't got a clue what that is. I don't even know if it's a port. It just looks like an empty little box thing. But yeah, so there are the ports on it. So we've got some nice flexibility with the uh, ports. And that's pretty much about it. What I'll do is I'll just show you what the cables are like because I'm sure you want to see what the cables are like. So here it is. You've got the cable, the plug. This is the UK version, obviously. And we have the charger part that that plug goes into. And here is the little port of the adapter that goes in there. All simples, simples and easy. So let's just plug that in to make sure it works. So yeah, nice flush fit, fits in tightly. And I think we're ready to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna boot this up and uh, then afterwards, maybe in a, in a month's time or a couple of months time of usage of this machine, I'm going to uh, actually go ahead and do a full review of what I think of this and whether I, th I recommend it or not. So I hope you've enjoyed this short little unboxing. Uh, please uh, have a look at my uh, other work that I've been doing on Instagram and my, especially my teaching lessons on Skillshare. All the links are in the description below. And I'll also leave links to all the uh, bits and bobs that I've shown you today, the laptop, the Norton antivirus, uh, everything else, the scissors, if that's what you want to have a look at. I'll leave all the links in the description below for you to have a look, read up on reviews, and hopefully I'll see you on the next one. And by the way, my iPad Pro one year review is due now because I've had my iPad Pro for a year so uh, that review is uh, well and truly due and I will be doing that very soon but I'm just very very busy with my Skillshare classes at the moment so stay with me stay subscribed take care of yourself keep sketching keep using your tech and enjoy life and peace